The race starts at 11 a.m. The cars need to be on the grid between 10 and 10.15. My name's Richard Fisher. I work at the Autobahn Mazda in Evanston and Countryside, Illinois. My name is Pat Lynn. I'm at Carousel Mazda in Iowa City, Iowa. My name is Taz Harvey. I work at Dublin Mazda. I race regularly in the SCCA. I've done some spec Miata racing and some MX-5 Cup a little bit. It's a great opportunity that Mazda's giving us. And there's really no other manufacturer, I think, that would ever dare to let their dealers loose in one of their cars. Only Mazda's doing it, and I think that only Mazda would do it. It's a long race. It's a 25-hour race. There's no reason to get you know too worked up over the first couple laps. Raced motorcycles for a while. Started racing cars in the 90s, early 90s. This track is a familiar track to me. It's, it's only about two and a half hours from my dealership. Over the years, I've, I've had a lot of laps on this track. I've never seen the track, I've never driven this car, and I've never driven an endurance race at night. So other than that, I'm almost a veteran. I uh, actually started racing in the early 70s. I drove eight races, won six of them. I've never raced an endurance race. All of the racing I've always done has been sprint racing. Our plan is to run steadily, smoothly, conservatively. The big thing here is to be running and racing in the morning. Taz is, is the master. Richard has a tremendous amount of experience. And as long as I don't screw this thing up, I think we're going to be in very good shape. A lot of people try you know, way too hard in this first section. And uh, with these conditions, it's tough conditions too. It's really windy. I mean, there's gusts to 50 miles an hour out on the track, which can move the car over quite a bit. Richard's doing a great job, you know, driving a very conservative but brisk pace, and that's exactly what we got to do. It was good. We had a good steady session. I think we picked up a few spots. I remember the day, it was 1971, and somebody showed up at this race with an R100 Mazda, which was just the the, the freshest, most exciting thing, rotary powered, the car was unbelievably fast. We're exactly where we want to be, Ruby. Huh? We're exactly where we want to be. They decided to leave me in for a second stint. The first stint, um, I almost ran out of gas. We're going to put on some stickier tires at night because the, the temperatures are going way down. You know, it's all kind of going to plan. This isn't any, it's not a sprint race. The car just got loose on me and I couldn't catch it. You're going to take the window up, windshield out? Yep. Come up in the corner, come up in the corner. Hold it over. You gotta get in touch with the glass off the car. Yeah, exactly. We need to make it through the night. This whole thing doesn't seem as much fun in the middle of the night. Obviously, you're tired. You're running on adrenaline, but that's when you see who really cares about doing this. Long night. No sleep at all. I turned the fastest lap of the whole race in the middle of the night. With no windshield, I was running pretty fast. The Mazda engineer spent all that time on the car, and then we go and just ruin the aerodynamics of it. We're going to finish this race strong. You know, the last part I was trying to you know, go as fast as I could because this old girl's pretty wore out. She's got a lot of aerodynamic drag. The thing about Mazda saying, always the soul of a sports car, it's true. Mazdas do handle. The guys at Mazda do care about how a car handles, how it drives. And that's borne out by the people that you'll see here at the racetrack.